Good morning, friends. I hope you're having a great week. This is going to be Crafty Friday. I'm here at home in my craft room. Do you see all my craft stuff? I got so much craft stuff. I love to do crafts. It is so much fun. So today we're going to do a bucket filler. We talked yesterday in our Zoom class about filling our buckets and how um, how great it is to have a bucket filler. So this is called Bucket Fillers Pledge. I'm a bucket filler. Each and every day, kind things I do, kind things I say, and I do my best not to ever dip. And I say, I'm sorry if I ever slip. We all make mistakes and we all will dip our bucket once in a while. But we try very hard to keep our bucket as full as possible. Does that mean sharing with our, with our siblings? Yes. Does that mean taking care of our parents and doing what we're asked to do? Yes. That's part of filling our buckets. But today, we don't want to talk about that right now. We're going to make a craft. I love crafts. So, I have a bucket. I sent you a bucket in your bag of goodies. So get out your buckets and I want you to take and I see this dark line all the way around your bucket. You're going to take out your scissors that we sent to you and remember we always keep our thumb up. Parents, if your child has a hard time remembering to keep their knuckles up when they're cutting with their scissors, you can take and you can draw a smiley face on their knuckle just like this and it will help them remember and then you can say remember thumb up thumb up when they're cutting with their scissors and that will help them learn that to keep their scissors up okay so let's get our scissors out and our paper and let's cut all the way around the line see how Miss Trish is cutting on the black solid line and I'm cutting all the way around my paper. I'm almost at the bottom. There we go. Almost done. Okay, I got my bucket all cut out. Now, once we get our bucket cut out, what do you think is the next thing we need to do? Mm. We need to write our names. We have been practicing to write our names, and we need to keep practicing on how to write our names, even on our stuff that we do at home. So, you can write your name with a marker. You could write your name with colored pencils. You could write your name with a crayon. Or you could even write your name with a pencil. Whatever you have at home. I'm going to write my name. Where do you think we should write our name? You can write it anywhere on the bucket that you would like. I think I'm going to write my name right there. All right. All right, I wrote my name, Miss Trish. Then comes the fun part. What do you think we can do with it? Hmm. We get to decorate it. So you can decorate it however you would like. If you have glue at home, you could get out some glue and you could glue stuff on it. You could glue sparkles. You can glue whatever you have at home. You could just color it with your markers or you could draw a picture on it. I think I'm gonna draw a flower because flowers always make Miss Trish happy. I like happy flowers. So I drew a flower on mine, but you can put whatever you would like on it. And then once you're done with your bucket, I want you to put it on your refrigerator so that next time that we come together and see each other, you can show us through our Zoom meeting what your craft looks like and you can share with your friends what it looks like. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun doing it. We will see you next week. I hope you guys have a great week. We missed you a lot. 
and we can't wait until we're back together again as a group. See you later.